So there's lots of noise out there about how ChatGPT is going to take jobs away from software engineers. And I understand the reasoning behind this, I mean fear sells and all that BS, but nobody's actually talking about how ChatGPT has already started to revolutionize not only the field of software engineering, but all fields. So I want to tell you a story. And if you don't have the attention span to sit through the story, unfortunately, you'll likely end up on the not-so-pleasant side of change. There once was a group of gods who lived high up in the clouds gazing down upon the mortal world below. These gods were all-knowing and all-powerful, but they were also curious creatures always seeking new ways to understand and explore the world. One day, a group of clever mortals invented a tool which they claimed could understand and converse with anyone, no matter how complex or obscure their thoughts may be. The gods were intrigued by this tool and decided to give it a try. As soon as they began using the tool, the gods were amazed by its abilities. It seemed to know everything there was to know about the mortal world, and was able to answer any question they could think of with ease. The gods were fascinated by the tool, and began to use it to learn more about the world and its mysteries. Over time, the tool became an indispensable tool for the gods, helping them to understand and comprehend the mysteries of the mortal world in ways they never could have imagined. They used it to communicate with mortals, to learn about their cultures and traditions, and to understand their deepest thoughts and desires. And so, the tool became known as the Tool of the Gods, helping them to gain insight into the world and its mysteries in ways that no other tool could. It was a tool of great power and wisdom, and it remains so to this day, revered and respected by all who use it. So let's imagine that we've just started diving into learning object-oriented design patterns and we want to start learning the builder pattern. Traditionally, the software engineer would use an ancient tool called Google by typing into the search bar what he or she was interested in learning. This would require the software engineer to parse through multiple different search hits with results ranging from amazing to complete trash. This also required the software engineer to endure many annoying ads. Additionally, the software engineer would have to take notes on and organize all of this information in a meaningful way. But that was the ancient way. And this is now. 